Okay, welcome to day 30. So day 30 is the day where we put in place our routine, solidly in place for the re remainder. So you are going to walk um, every day now and you should pretty much be up to an hour, but maybe you're not quite there, but you're you maybe around 25 minutes, I would say each way. So that's fine, you're gonna set your timer for half an hour one way or 25 minutes one way and come the other way back and that's gonna be every day and you just have to tell yourself come rain come sleet come snow come sun you know get yourself a good uh, jacket like a good rain jacket and rain pants and go get yourself the hat and the mitts and the gloves and go um, the other thing that you want to do is um, you're going to come back and you're going to journal and I know it's hard journaling is one of the hardest things ever but you're gonna set your timer 20 minutes and you're just going to do it whether you do it or not you're gonna set the timer and you're gonna sit down with the computer or the pen and paper in front of you and you're gonna do this every day whether you're writing or not you are going to force yourself to get into that habit same with the yoga video if you've already done the exercise and the walking and you're like oh I'm just too tired to do it today that's fine but play the 20 minute yoga video and it doesn't have to do DDP yoga so if that's what you're waiting for and you're like, oh, I don't want to buy it, then forget it. Just go on YouTube, find a 20 minute sort of Hatha yoga class, put it on, and whether you have enough energy to do it or not is besides the point. Same with the walking. You're going out and you're, you're going to have that timer going for the amount of time that you should be doing it. And whether you have to sit down in the sun or walk, just kind of meander, or even stand still, you're gonna be out there for that amount of time. Same with the yoga video. If you're like, oh, I just can't do that today. That's fine, put it on, get your yoga mat out. And if you're sitting there the whole time watching it, that's fine. But chances are when you see it come on, you'll do some of it. And even if you do some of it, that's good enough. Um, so again, we're walking, we're doing our yoga video, we're doing our journaling, we're sitting in front of a mirror for 10 minutes. You have to set a timer and just do this. Just look at yourself, tell yourself that you love you. 10 minutes, it's a meditation. Um, you can do it with your eyes closed. If you're somewhere else and you can't get to a mirror, then just do a 10 minute closed eye meditation and feel your body instead of looking to your eyes. Um, and then for the remainder of the day, after 12.30 p.m., no matter what you haven't got done, we are unstructuring. We're trying to live life. So this is the point in the day when we are not doing things because we should do them or because we have to do them or because we have to heal or distract ourselves or keep busy or whatever it is. We're trying to come up with something. In the 30s, we're gonna be trying to come up with something new every day that's a new passion, a new hobby, um, something that we wanna get involved with, our kids, our spouse, our friends, whatever. We're gonna become more connected with life, with our life, with ourselves. We're gonna take the pressure off ourselves for these hours, get rid of our to-do lists, um, throw away those um, lists and things that have to get done. And we're gonna just start to live with recognizing what our body wants, what we might like to do, you know, whatever that is. And sometimes, yes, forcing ourselves into situations that um, are difficult and forcing ourselves back into life. And then at the end of the day, we at 7 p.m., we are shutting down our screens. We're trying to, um, you know, quiet our minds, get into a bedtime routine, take that time with our spouse, our kids, our family, and then if we want a bath, a magnesium bath, whatever, and then we're gonna be in bed by 9 p.m. So this is our routine, day 30. Now, you also have something else that you said that you were going to do on day 30. If you had that list that we made way back at the beginning, you have something that you're gonna do. So today, even though the setback has me with so so many symptoms that I didn't think I could do this. I went on my daughter's um, field trip today. Now, I had to ask my husband to see if he would come too and we both went um, because I just didn't feel confident enough going on my own with all my raging symptoms in case something happened or whatever. But the point is I went. Even though I didn't feel like I was ready, I made the commitment and I went and I did it. And she will have that memory. And that's just what I wanted to do on day 30. So whatever thing that you wrote down on day 30, just do it. Just do some of it. Just do a little bit of it. Just, even if you feel like you can't, just do it. Just do it. 
Um, and yeah, so now that we're going into day 30, we have our routine in place and we have to commit to it every day. So these are the things I want you to commit to today on day 30. I want you to commit to your routine every morning until 1230. And then I want you to commit to just trying to live your life in between and then commit to a bedtime routine every single day. I want you to commit to yourself knowing that no matter if your symptoms are raging, if you have pain, fatigue, buzzing, burning, um, tremors, whatever your symptoms are that are crazy for you, I want you to know and commit to yourself that you are going to live through these and make it to the other side. So today we're promising ourselves that no matter what state we're in, no matter how good or bad that we think we are, that we're gonna start to trust ourselves and trust our bodies and trust our own minds and our own intuitions and know that the nervous system always settles. It always goes up and it always comes down. Symptoms always go up and they always go down. And we're trying to regulate here because you may be up here one day, down here one day, right? These are the symptoms kind of chaotically going around. And over time, we're looking for them to settle. Like everything always comes to homeostasis. And it may take a while to get there. But we're going to know that when we're up here, it's okay because we know the body is doing this. We know over time it's gonna do this. And we're gonna trust ourselves. We're gonna to come to ourselves first. We're going to know that our souls can handle this, our minds can handle this, and our bodies can handle this. If we've come this far, we know we can handle this and we know we are going to keep going until we get to the other side. So today on day 30, we commit to ourselves we commit to seeing these symptoms through and trying to just ride them out. They, we know that they will change. And over time, we know we're going to be settling our nervous system. So as we start to um, move into the 30s and start to expand our lives, we're also going to be working on settling our nervous system. So those are the two things that we're gonna be doing in the 30s. Um, so if you've come this far, congratulations. It's hard. I didn't say it would be easy, and I didn't say it would cure you, but we are going to challenge ourselves to overcome chronic illness in spite of symptoms. One day the symptoms won't be there and we won't have to live in spite of symptoms, but for now we do. For now we have to live in spite of them. And we want to expand our lives in spite. So if you've come this far, congratulations, keep going. You're amazing, you're doing a great job, and you can do this. You will heal. We, we all will heal. We can do this. You're strong. You're brave. You're courageous. Keep going. Be proud of yourself.